JDF veterans are suffering. This is really disturbing. Former members falling on hard times as pensions, retroactive funds not paid on time. When people work, serve, give their time, and retire, and cannot be paid, it is horrible. It's a horrible situation. Soldiers are not the only ones going through this situation. A lot of others who were professionals employed by the government have gone and are going through the same situation. Jamaica Defense Force members transition to civilian life has come under fire from a group of veterans who are questioned in its viability. Alleging financial embarrassment as a result of late pension and retroactive payments. I have served for over 25 years. We are the veterans. And we are suffering because the Veterans Affairs Office is not doing what they are supposed to do. They are not representing the veterans as it relates to pension payments and retroactive payments. In the JDF, you are not supposed to have any other job. And whenever pension re persons retire, they are expected to get their pension at a particular time. A spokesman for the veterans told the Jamaica Observer recently. A veteran of the JDF is any person, irrespective of age, who has served on active duty and was discharged under conditions which were other than this honorable. According to one individual who says he has been waiting almost a year since leaving without receiving a dime of his pension. The DVA has deserted its dependents. I have a lot of other persons who were retired before me and still haven't received any payments as well. And they are falling on hard times. They are financially embarrassed and no one is there to sort it out. Every time you call, people are pushing you around and transferring you to other offices and nobody is taking responsibility. The spokesperson said in said in exasperation the retroactive payment might take a longer time but they are not doing anything at all as it relates to the veterans a lot of soldiers are having hard times after serving for 25 22 18 years with exemplary service and they are not getting their pension on time it is pure tardiness as it relates to payments and sorting out of documentations. The disgruntled former serviceman said, while claiming that he had submitted documents for processing early, we normally hand in documents like six months prior to leaving so that we can give them enough time to sort out. And it's not being done it's happening too much i've contacted also the pay office in upper camp as well there are two other offices that sought our payments as it relates to service members or retired personnel and i have appealed to them and still nothing he told the observer in the meantime, the individual made it clear that he had no axe to grind in hearing his complaint via the media. But that's the only way people, they'll respond. When they take it to the media, people are frustrated. 
It is not about me alone. There are other persons who are falling on hard times. I am employed. I have been working shortly after I left, but I am feeling it to my peers who have served their country with dignity and skill and not been treated fairly, he declared. A member of the JDF to whom the observer was directed in noting the concerns said checks would be made with the DVA and the matter brought to the attention of the command as these things work on an individual basis. A JDF private at the DVA in advising the observer to place its queries higher up said there are confidential these are confidential matters this matter cannot be discussed over the telephone people give a lot of misleading information what can be misleading if they're not being paid they're just not being paid the observer is still awaiting the response to its query submitted some two weeks ago to the jdf regarding the grouses of the veterans this is not tardiness. This is wickedness. People are retired and have to sit and wait indefinitely for a pension. And you know the sad part? If when they work their salary is so meager and can one just imagine what they are waiting for? The Prime Minister is singing his praises how much has been done for Jamaica and that things are better. But we have never heard of so many people who cannot collect pay, overtime or pension. Jamaica had never seen so many hunger and starvation. Jamaica had never seen so many homeless people. Let's not mention the crimes here because the government did not create the crimes. Parents did. But controlling the crimes is their problem. Every problem should have a solution and so far they have not yet figured out the solutions for crimes let's not stray from the point that pensioners need to be paid promptly just as everyone else they need money too guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.